Okay, adarsul hadi asyara al-qira'ah. Al-qira'atu. Al-qira'atu, reading. Okay, al-qira'ah means reading. So, what is the verb? Okay, if I ask you, what is the verb to say read, to read? Give me the verb for fi'il madi, fi'il amar, mudare, and amar. For the fi'il to read. Anyone knows what is the verb? Ikra. Ikra, yes, good. But that is for fi'il? Mudare. Ah, uh, no. Ikra, it's not fi'il mudare. Uh, amar, amar. Amar, yes. So, so now you can differentiate between madi, mudare, and amar. So when, when we say iqra, you see the alif? So that is one of the sign of el amar. Just like izhab, oktob, and so on. I, iqra. So that is number one. Number two, you see this? Iqra, the sukun in the end? Yes, so this is normally for el amar. So iqra, I want to say you. Read iqra. Iqra bismi rabbika allazi khalaq. Read, O oh Muhammad. Okay. So what about fi'il madi? Qara'tu. Qara'tu, yes, correct. But Qara'tu is for Ana. Ana Qara'tu. But normally when we ask you what is the Madi, you use it for Huwa. What is the Fi'il Madi Qara' for Huwa? Qara'a. Qara'a, yes. That is the Fi'il Madi. Alright? So this is how you list the Fi'il Madi. You start with the one with for Huwa. Qara'a. Don't use Qara'tu or Qara'na or Qara'ti. Uh, okay? We just need the basis word, the basic word, or the root word, Qara'a. Yes, that is for fi'il madi. What is the mudarik for Qara'a? You want to say reading, is reading. He is reading. For fi'il mudarik, you need ya. Okay, what is the mudarik? Qara'a, mudarik is? Ya qara'u. Ya qara'u. Okay, good. Thank you, Azam. Ya qara'u. Okay, so these are the verbs. So every time you want to know what is the verb, you need to have these three. Qara'a, yaqra'u, iqra'. So that you can memorize yaqra'u. If you want to use it in the past tense, you know it is qara'a. And then you use it with the dhami. Qara'tu, qara'ta, qara'ti, qara'tum, qara'na, and so on. If you want to use it in the present, mudare. So you know oh, the fi'il is yaqra', yaqra'. So if you want to say I read, aqra'. If you want to say they read, yaqra'un. If you want to say we read, naqra'u. Right. If you want to use it, you want to say, go, read. So, you know, the fan is ikra. Then you use it with the suitable domir. Ata ikra. Antum ikra'u and so on. All right. So, this uh, this is the verb. Qara'a, yakra'u and also ikra. Okay, good. Now, uh, these are the exercises. Uh, these are the, the question that we will use later. All right. Okay, now let us look at the hewar, the conversation. Now, conversation. Right. Iqra al hewar al ati. Read the following conversation. Summa ajib anil as ilatilati baadahu. Then answer the questions with that uh, that follows, or which follows, which uh, which comes after it. Baada after it. Um, all right. So here we have Muhammad wa Ali. Uh, Muhammad wa Ali. Nam. Okay. Let us read this together. Okay, you can read after me on your own, and then you can practice reading after after that. Muhammad, ma awalu suratin nazalat ala rasuli sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, ma awalu suratin nazalat ala rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Nah, ma means what? What? Awal, the first. So what is the first surah? The first surah or the first chapter. Ma awalu suratin nazalat. Nazalat means comes down. Came down. That is the word nazala. To came down, to, to descend. Or brought forth to the Prophet, Allah Rasul, to the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Peace be upon him. So what is the first surah? Which was revealed. Uh, that is the translation that you can use. But literally, the word nazala means come down. To come down, that is uh, nazala. Now, so what is the first surah? Ali, suratul alaq. Suratul alaq. Atah fazuha. Atah fazuha. Okay. 
Okay, so Ali says Surah Al-Alaq. The Surah of Alaq. So the Al-Alaq is the name of that Surah. Iqra bismi rabbikal lazi alaq. And the word Alaq means uh, the clot, the, the, the blood that, that is hanging in the womb of the mother that is called the Alaq. Before it became uh, the baby, that, that is called the Alaq. Atahfazuha. All right, so here we have three words. Atahfazuha, we have three words. The first word is a. Ah. The first word is a. Ah. That is the word on its own. The second is the verb tahfazu. And the third one is the domir ha. All right. So first we look at the verb. The verb is tahfazu. Tahfazu means memorize. Tahfazu means memorize. Okay. When I say tahfazu. This is fi'il madi or fi'il mudare. The one that start with ta. Mudare. Mudare. Yes, thank you. So you memorize. So anta. This is anta. Okay. So tahfazu. This is for you. What about this alif? Ah, this alif. As I mentioned, this is not part of the verb. This is a different word. This is to ask a question. Do ah. So ah here is similar to the word hal. So you can say hal tahfazuha, or you can use a atahfazuha, right? So that again, that alif is to ask a question, do or a, and not a ana part of the verb, right? So that is why you need to look at the verb carefully so that you will be able to uh, to differentiate. Is this a part of the verb or this? It is not. It is not because the verb start with this ta. Ta is you. So do you memorize ha it? So, ha here is referring to the word surah. Do you see the word surah here? Is it muzakkar or mu'annas? Mu'annas. Mu'annas word because you have the ta. Good. So, if you want to refer to something mu'annas, you have to use ha. So, ha here does not mean, it's not, it, this is not it. Uh, sorry, this is not her. Do you memorize her? No. Ha here is it. So, the word ha or the word hiya can be used to object and for, for human. So it can be she, it can be it as well. So here it is it. Do you memorize it? Uh, that is the meaning of atahfazuha. And then Muhammad says, Muhammad, na'am, na'am, ahiya allati tabda'u bi ikra bismi rabbika lazi khalaq. Na'am, ahiya allati Tabda'u bi ikra bismi rabbika lazi khalaq. Okay. Naam. Yes. Ahiya. So again, you have this alif. You have this alif. Ah. Before the word hiya. Okay. What do you think? What is this alif? To ask question. To ask a question. Um... Yes. Correct. This is again to ask question. Ah. Do. Okay. Do. So do or is it depends depend on the depends on the meaning depends on the uh, on the meaning of the sentence here so here here uh, again as i mentioned just now here not necessarily it is she sometimes it can say we can translate as it as well so in this case it is it here here means it is it so the question is is it is it the one alati alati means the one is it the one tabda'u starts is it the one that starts again a uh, is here it alati the one the one here is referring to the surah is it the surah that starts tabda'u be with with this uh with this sentence is it the one that start with this verse iqra read uh, this is fail amar iqra bismi rabbika allazi khalaq read be with is me name rob god ka your god so read with the name of your god okay read with the name of your lord alazi the one so this word alazi is similar to the word alati again i repeat the word alazi is similar to the word alati it means the one you are referring to something. The one, the one is, uh, but the difference is that Allazi 
is used for muzakkar allati is used for muannas all right so that is the word allazi and allati so next time when you see this word allazi in the quran especially you have allazi or allati so it is referring to uh, the meaning is the one the one the one who or the one that so it depends it can sometimes it refers to human sometimes it, is, it refers to object allazi khalaq the one who khalaqa khalaqa this is fi'il madhi to create so in the sentence it means read with the name or in the name of your god who the one who has created the one who created the one who created allazi khalaq naam so he is asking again is it the one the the verse that start with this or the chapter that start with iqra bismi rabbika allazi khalaq and this is from surah al alaq number 1 okay surah al alaq al aya al ula verse 1 okay so and then ali answers ali says Ali says, Naam. Naam. Wa fiha akbaru dalilin ala ihtimamil islami bil ilmi wa wasa ilihi. Again, I repeat. Naam. Wa fiha akbaru dalilin ala. Okay, this word, the next word is ihtimam. If you read it individually, you will say ala ihtimam. But if you join the two words, then we will read ala timam. Ala timam. That is why they don't put this kasrah. Alright? So that is the individual word is ihtimam. But when you join the word, you read ala timam. Wa fiha akbaru dalilin ala ihtimamil islami bil ilmi wa wasa ilihi. Right. Na'a means yes. Wafiha. Wafiha. Three words. First is wa n. The second is fi. Fi in. And the third one is ha it. So wafiha and in it. It here is referring to the verse, the surah again. Wafiha and in the surah. That is the meaning. And in it or in the surah. Akbaru dalil. Akbar means the largest or the greatest. The greatest is akbar. Allahu akbar. Allah is the greatest. So this is the word. Akbar dalil. Dalil means evidence. So here they want to say yes. So in the surah, there is the biggest evidence. Okay, there is the biggest or the greatest. You 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 find greatest evidence. Allah for Allah means for ihtimam al Islam. Ihtimam care the care of islam the care of islam bil ilmi with knowledge so it means that he want to say or oh, in this verse you see there is an evidence that islam cares for knowledge islam uh, 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 take it as great importance wa wasa ilihi and okay these are three words wa wasa ilihi first wa and second word is wasail wasail means the means, the methods. Okay, wasail, the means. And he, it's. And the word he here is referring to al-ilmi, knowledge. So what is the meaning of this sentence? Yes, in the chapter, there is a great evidence. There is the greatest evidence on the, on the care of Islam with knowledge and its means. Okay, the methods of obtaining knowledge. So this is the meaning of the whole sentence. The next question, Muhammad, ma wasa ilul ilmi, ma wasa ilul ilmi, ma what wasa il this word, wasa il the means, the means of ilm. What what are the means of knowledge? Okay, how do you obtain knowledge? So that is the meaning of the sentence. So Ali says, wasa iluhu kathiratun, wasa iluhu kathira. Minha al qira'a. Minha al qira'a. Wasailuhu. Again, the word wasail means or the methods. Who? It's. It's methods or it means kathira a lot. So there are many ways. Uh, there are many ways. So wasail ways. You can translate as ways again. Ways or methods. So uh, the ways for knowledge, there are a lot of them. Kathir. Kathiratun. 
Main ha. So here you have two words. First is main. Second is ha. So main is from. Okay, from. That is the literal meaning of the word main. But sometimes you can translate main as one of the or among them. Among that is main. So main ha among these methods main ha. So the word ha here. Previously, we translated the word ha as it or its. Yes, but sometimes you can use ha for plural word as well. Them, but for non-object, for non-human. Sorry, for object. So, for example, in this jumla, we say main ha among them. Them here is referring to the wasail. So, among these methods, among these means. So that is the meaning of main ha. Okay. So if you see here. In Arabic, they use a lot of domir. They use a lot of pronoun. So whenever you see the pronoun, you need to understand this pronoun is referring to which word. So for example, here again, the word ha. Ha here is referring to which word? It is referring to wasail. Then only you will be able to translate the word correctly. Okay. So minha among this wasail, among these ways, al kiraa reading. So reading is one of the ways to obtain knowledge. Al kiraa. Now. Muhammad, Muhammad says, "A'lamu an al-qira'ata hiya wasilatuna ila al-ilmi wal-ma'rifa." A'lamu, I know. This is fi'il mudari. I know. A'lam, a'lamu, I know. An al-qira'a that reading, anna is that. I know that reading is hiya is. Wasila tuna. Okay, wasila is this is singular for the word wasail. For the word wasail just now, wasail the means, the methods, the ways. So the singular of the word is wasila tun. This word, wasila tun. Wasila tuna. Our method, or our way, or our means. Wasila tuna ilal elmi wal maarifa. So reading is the way, is our way to knowledge and also maarifa. Al el knowledge, marifa, marifa is also knowledge. So sometimes they use these two words together. Al el wal marifa. Okay. So but el is more like uh, the complete knowledge, the uh, like science, like mathematics. Do you call it el mu? Like al anahu grammar, you call it el mu anahu. But marifa is just like general knowledge. You call it marifa. Okay, marifa. Yes. Okay. The next sentence. The next sentence it says, "Ata arifu ya ahi, ata arifu ya ahi, ma fawa idul kiraa, ma fawa idul kiraa." Here we have the word "ata arifu." Okay, can you guess? Is this one word or two words? What do you think? The word "ata arifu." Two Is words. This two words. Okay, what are the two words? A uh, for two, ta arif. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Ah, yes, good. That is that is correct. So here we have two words. First is a, second is ta'rifu. So here the a is not part of the verb. It is not a ana. No, this is again. This is to ask a question. Whether it is do, whether it is ask. This is verb. This is to ask question. So how do you understand? How do you translate this word a? You have to look at the meaning of the next word. Ta'rifu means no, no. Just this is similar to ta'lamu. A'lamu just now. I know. You know. So we say ta'rifu. You know. So ta'rifu you know. A do. Do you know? So we say ata'rifu. Do you know? You can also say hal ta'rifu. Do you know? Yes. That is the meaning of ha'a. Now ata'rifu ya akhi. Do you know my brother? Oh my brother. Oh my brother. Ya akhi. Do you know? Ma fawa idul kiraa. What are the benefits? Fawa it means benefits. Ma what? What are the benefits of reading? Okay. What are the benefits of reading? Okay. So here we look at the word fawa it. Fawa it benefits. This is plural. This is jama. What is the mufrad? The mufrad word is faidatun. So this is the same word that we use in Malay. We say faeda, but the word is faida. Faida, one benefit. The plural is fawaidu. Okay, so please remember this mufrad and jama. Put it in your list, mufrad and also jama. 
So ma fawaidul kira'a, what are the benefits of reading? Okay, and then Ali says, Naam. Naam, yes, Naam. Laha fawaidu kathiratun. Laha fawaidu kathiratun. Naam, yes, Laha, two words. The first word is La. The first word is La. And the second word is Ha. All right, so what is this La? La, if they use together with the Dhammir, Laha, Laka. La home, la kom. This is mean has or have. So laha, she has or it has. Depends on the meaning. Okay, so again, I repeat. If you see this word la together with the domir, la ka, la home, la ha, la ki, and so on. So it means has, has or have. So laha, it has or she has. Just like the word la kom, di nu kom, waliyadin. La kom. You have. Uh, so in the verse, Allah says, uh, you have your religion, I have my own religion. So our the God, Allah asked um, uh, our prophet to say that to the kufar. Right? So, laha. Laha, it has, fawa, it benefits, kathira, many. So it has many benefits. Laha, fawa, it, kathira, it has many benefits. Lil akli wal fikri. Lil akli wal fikri so here two words lil akli the first word is lam li the first word is li which means for so this is the first word li and the second word is al aql for your brain al aql so these words actually this the, the the two words are li plus al aqli li plus al aqli you see the alif lam what happens to the alif lam when you combine it to lam, to li, you remove this alif. Therefore, when you combine these two words, it becomes lam and lam. You drop this alif. And not lam, alif, lam, no. Right? Okay, so this is how you join, how you combine the two words, lam, for, and al-aql, for brain. Lil akli. So, there are many benefits of reading for brain, <coughs> lil akli, or for mind. Yes, you can translate it for mind as well. While fikri and for your thought, for thinking. Okay, to encourage thinking and so on. That is the meaning of al-fikr. So in Malay, you also say fikr. That is Arabic word, fikrun. Al-fikru, yes. And then they say, bil qiraati na'riful madi. Bil qiraati na'riful madi. B is by. B is by, by reading, by reading, na'arifu, this is fi'il mudarik, na, we. Okay, what, what does it mean here, na'arifu? We have learned the word ya'arifu just now. So what is na'arifu? To know. We know. We know, yes, correct. So we know. So by reading, we know the past, madi. Uh, the one that we learned, that, uh, this is the same word as in fi'il madi, past tense. So madi means past. So by reading, we will know the past or we know the past wa and then the next sentence the next phrase wa tarikh al ajdad wa tarikh al ajdad wa and tarikh tarikh is the history okay in uh, in malay you say tarikh date the date is tarikh but the word tarikh is is used for history so we will know and tarikh al ajdad the history of our uh, ancestors our our grandfathers uh, so this is the word ajdad, the jama for the word jaddun. Jaddun means grandfather, ajdad, our great, great, great grandfathers, uh, our ancestors, you call them uh, ajdad. So we will know the history of our ancestors. Wana'arifu kathalika. Wana'arifu kathalika and we know. Wana'arifu and we know. Kazalika as well. Also, uh, that is also the meaning of kazalika. Also, and we also know, we also know al uluma wal ma'lumat. Al ulum, uh, this is the plural for the word elmon. Just now we had the word elmon, knowledge, and the plural is ulum, ulum. And we can also translate the word elmon or ulum to mean science. So elmon, ulum, sciences. 
Okay, so it depends. It depends on the context. So here you can translate as sciences or you can translate as knowledge. Uh, we also know knowledge and ma'lumat and information. So ma'lum, information, ma'lumat. And fi in majalatin mukhtalifa. Fi majalatin mukhtalifa. In majalat fields. Fields. Mukhtalifa different so they say by uh, by 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 reading we also know knowledge and information in different fields okay in different fields majal mukhtalif majalat mukhtalifa and then the next sentence they say wa amma bi qira'ati suhufi wal jara'idi so this comma you can remove it because the sentence Ends here. Wa amma bi kira ati suhu fi wal jarait. Meanwhile, so ma amma. So that is the meaning of amma. And wa and amma. Meanwhile, meanwhile, or other than that, uh, that is also amma. Bi kira ati as suhu by reading the suhu. Suhu is actually newspaper. Newspaper is called suhu, but this is the plural form. The singular for the word suhu is Sahifa. Sahifatun. So what is Sahifa? Newspaper, you call it Sahifa. And the jama is Suhuf. Naam. Wa amma bi qira'ati suhufi. And meanwhile, by reading newspaper, wal jara'idi. Al jara'idi. Al jara'idi is another word for newspaper. So here they repeat the two words because they just want to enhance your vocabularies. Al jara'id wa suhuf. Jara'id, newspaper, and this is the plural for the word jaridah. Jaridatun. So again, for all these singular and plural, please have your own list. Singular and plural. Well, jara'id and the newspapers. So by reading newspapers, na'arifu, fa na'arifu, fa, this is an additional letter. This is an additional letter. We don't need to translate here. It, it is there uh, because in the sentence you have amma. So this is, you will learn this in the in later lesson. Wa amma, and then you need to have this fa. Okay, this is just a structure of the sentence. Na'rifu, we know. Al-akhbar, news. Al-akhbar means news. And by reading newspapers, na'rifu al-akhbar, we know news fil alam in the world. We know the, the, the news of the world. Okay, and for the word akhbar, this is plural. This is jama for the word khabar. Okay, again I repeat, akhbar is jama for the word khabar. All right. So that's it. Uh, enough until here uh, for today. So go through the lesson. Go through the lesson. Go through the hiwar again. We will continue inshallah uh, on Wednesday.